Hello guys, today I'm going to be going over Seller Sprite, specifically speaking about their product research and actually how you can use it to either go with your online store, maybe you want to do a little bit digging. Well, here today I'm going to show you how to use that and if you would like to go and check it out, check out the description below and follow along with me and set up an account. Very easy to use, fantastic tool and I'll show you why. All right, so Seller Sprite, not only do they have well, the product research, but they have many different things as well. Taking, for example, you have the product research, you have the market research, keyword, you have the ABA search term, storefront tracker, product store, and my list. Of course, my list is consisting of something that we're having, well, that you choose. Uh, so kind of working your way from the top to the bottom, marketplaces. Depending on where your market is, this is where you'll select. For example, you have the United States, Japan, Spain, Canada, India, the United K, and uh, the UK, and the month. So if you're looking for something with the past 30 days, maybe something in September, uh, August, so forth, so on, you get the idea, right? 2023, and you can go back further down. And then you have your categories, right? So uh, you can leave this, like, for example, you can only show subcategory ranking, and you'll just check that there, and it gives you a, a very easy uh, message that says, if unchecked, the ranking shown by the product could either be uh, the BSR or subcategory or the BSR for the parent category. So if it's checked, only BSR or subcategory will be provided. So this is up to you if you want to do this. Uh, if you want to check this or not, but you have all of them. You have like Amazon devices, which is really big, especially if you're in the drop shipping. So this will kind of help you as well. You have office products, pet supplies, different, di different, different things. But the big thing is with the product research, you just don't want just to find the item, right? So you need to find what is going to be the products, the sales increased really fast over the last month. So going over the past and in the United States, you can click presets. These are all the presets, but you can say custom. And then when you go to custom, you can kind of, well, go here to the department and there, but there's no saved ones here as well. So you can kind of like just jump into that. But for example, if I click on rapid growth, right, uh, and I will choose that or in all of these units, but let me kind of go back and uh, show you. So let's say we're going to do Amazon devices, right? And I can say like rapid growth, for example, and it will pull up the rapid growth. Uh, now the unit sold three uh, starting at the minimum of three thousand. Let's say ten thousand, right? So three hundred to ten thousand units growth, um, units sold growth, and you can kind of like just we'll add this information in as you go. Um, now you can we'll do this if this bestseller, maybe a new release, Amazon's choice, but yeah, the size if it's a specific shirt, so you can be able to do that FBA fee, star ratings, all of this, right? So. And each one of these, what's really cool is what they have for you, is you have the uh, little check marks. It's, if you're not really sure, you're kind of new to it, kind of confused, well, just kind of hover over the question marks, and it's going to tell you what is it for. So the number of units that were sold for at ASIN in a month, the revenue, right? So the revenue for the ASIN from the sellers in a month, and it's going to kind of give you some clarification there. Now, uh, you can save the current preset. This is the preset. This is how you save them, right? So this is what everything you have, rapid growth, competing sellers, right? So forth and so on. And when you click them, you can see that it changes, right? This is what I was getting at. Uh, and like say distribution and competitive products. See, there is no minimum and there's a lot of information missing. So uh, if we do rapid growth and we just start going through the unit sold, we're like, okay, this is what we're going to set it as. This is going to do that. And you would just save the current preset, which you can go back later on instead of having to go through this entire trouble and well, to go through and get all of your information. So you can do it for more than once. So just maybe change the month and even the seller location, right? So America, so forth, right? How we did before. And if I go to search now, it will pull up search now. All right. So pretty cool, huh? Uh, for example, when I come down, when I scroll down, you can see that the 40-inch class 63 was the uh, a well was that a plus page. Uh, not a lot of information, not a lot of different products for that. Let's say fast selling for all categories. Now I'll go. So there's and I'll search now, and there's nothing there because I didn't really select. But for example, let's go to rapid growth one more time. Uh, and I'm just going to plug in some information, like 10,000, units sold, let's say 20, 
percent so forth just putting in information right uh max and then i'll go to search now mm, nothing here for now but that's okay so it's just because i'm just entering information let's go for a recommendation for newbies search now all right so we could not find the data for the asn the reason might be one of the following and it's going to give you the incorrectly the asn that you did right so you would just need that asn so oh that's okay uh and launch pad let's just say all right and search now all right yeah because i forgot i was on the devices but this is going to show you everything so what we have we have the different various items it's showing those for us but what happens if i do this so this is going to be a product tracker and i just click on the heart and it is added that fast right so we can go to tag management we can create tags right uh you can add tags for that so uh and you can have that and just track that product as it goes now of course if we go to like my product list we don't have any here yet uh, custom category we also don't have that done uh, and if we just click on the product here you go like here for the human super beats it's going to give you more detailed information and probably what you're already wanting to see so you can display it by year too and just like that now you can export all of this information as an excel sheet which you can go back and check it out later on and this is the sales trends though if you wanted to go with the historical trends the rating rate and the crucial keyword search trends you can do all of that so you can see the bsr the price of that the rating and so forth and so on the historical trends of this how well is it doing do i want to continue to sell it and of course this is showing you state so you have a lot of tools and information set up for you right there and you can export the sales you can export it all together and you can include other variants as well you can either change the grid view you can say units sold the revenue you can pull everything up and have it organized as you need based on your life so even here is closed right so we can do this my products list right uh and you can see like view it on amazon as well and well if you just want to check it out there and kind of like get an idea for the description for it if you're again if you're doing drop shipping or you just need some product ideas so very very cool very very interesting it's going to save you a lot of time so again if you would like to try this for yourself click on the link in the description and jump to it now so seller sprite will save you a lot of time uh, and you'll see for yourself that well <laughs> it's going to really help you expand and well grow your business all right guys thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next video